In the year 820, there was a mathematician named Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. He was from the city of Kiva, which is in present-day Uzbekistan. Al-Khwarizmi lived during the Islamic Golden Age and worked at an observatory in Baghdad, where he also wrote his most famous work, the Book of Addition and Subtraction after the Method of the Indians. This book helped introduce algebra to Europe and helped set off a centuries-long effort to make mathematics more abstract than simply solving problems with numbers or geometry. During this time, many Arabic scientists wrote down various ideas and knowledge gained from India, Greece, Syria, and Persia. One of Al-Khwarizmi's mathematical works was called The Calculating Procedures Concerning Hindu Numerals, which presented the first known use of what we now call algorithms. The word algorithm comes from his name. Al-Khwarizmi would not have used this term because his book was written in Arabic and algorithm does not exist in this language. Regardless of what it's called, his work was extremely important for modern mathematics and computer science. Because he bridged the gap between the Hindu number system and our number system. While working at the observatory, Al-Khwarizmi converted all of their calculations from Roman numerals to Hindu numerals. This was important for modern mathematics and computer science because it saved them a lot of time and made their mathematical calculations much easier to do. Algorithms today are used in many different ways. They can be used to calculate math problems, but they can also be used to solve other types of problems. For example, algorithms are used in computer programs and other digital devices to record what you do and make decisions based on that information. Al-Khwarizmi's contribution to mathematics and computer science is immeasurable. Without even knowing it, he invented algorithms that helped shape the world as we know it today.